Let's take a look at coordinate grids. So here is a coordinate grid and we have two lines, an X line and a Y line. Now these lines are called axes. So this line here is the X axis and this line here is the Y axis. Now the X axis is for the horizontal numbers and the Y is for vertical. So you can see that on the axis as we go to the right, a bit like a number line, the numbers are getting bigger. As we go to the left, they're getting smaller. On the Y, as we're going up, the numbers are getting bigger. As we go down, they are getting smaller. Now this point here is the origin where the two axis, axes meet. This is the origin. And when we are dealing with coordinates, we always have two coordinates. So we might have the coordinate three, two. So coordinates are normally given in brackets with a comma separating them. Now the three, this is the X value. And here the two is the Y value. So the first value is for the X. So for the horizontal axis and the Y value that is for the vertical. So that's the basics of coordinate grids, two axes, X and Y. And don't forget the origin is where the two axes meet. So let's read some coordinates. So I'm just going to plot uh, a point here. Now, what is the, what is the co set of coordinates for this point? So what we need to remember is that coordinates go X, then Y. So we need to work out the horizontal, the X value, the horizontal value of this point, first of all. So we go across on the X axis and we can see it's at two. So the X value is two. And for Y, we're going up to four. So when I was at school, we were taught go along the corridor and up the steps. So it's two, then four, two, four. That's what that point there is. Let's take a look at another point here. So again, we're going to take the X reading first. So the horizontal first. So that is minus four horizontally and it's going up to three. Let's take another point um, here. So here on the X, we are going across to minus two. And on the Y, we are, in this case, we're going down to minus four. So that is the coordinate minus two, minus four. And let's have a look at one more here. Again, we're gonna do the X value first. So horizontally, we're going across to five. And then we are going down to minus two. So the key thing to remember is horizontal first, then vertical, along the corridor, up the steps, along the corridor, up the steps, along the corridor, I suppose it's down the steps, along the corridor, down the steps. So X, then Y, horizontal, then vertical. So if you need to plot points, if I said to you plot the point three, five, then the, remember the first coordinate is X, the second coordinate is Y, so we need to go horizontally first to three, and then vertically up to five. So this here is the point three, five. If we had the point minus two, minus three, then we need to go across to minus two and then down to minus three. So this point here, this, this is the coordinate minus two, minus three. If you had the coordinates four, minus five, so we're going across to four and then down to minus five. So this is the point my, uh, four, minus five. And if we had the point minus three, Five, then we would go across first because the minus three is on the x-axis. Go across the minus three and then up to five. So this here is the point minus three, five. So again, the key thing to remember is horizontal value first, then the vertical value. 